Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we are here at the Army National Guard Armory in Winooski. Last weekend marked the one year anniversary of the first confirmed case of the coronavirus in Vermont. And now across our state, Vermonters are getting the COVID vaccine. And today, 93-year-old Gok Van Chen is getting his second COVID vaccination with his granddaughter, Lee Kim, by his side. How do you feel about getting your second vaccine today? Cô hỏi là ông cảm nhận thế nào khi ông được uh, chích thuốc chích vaccine COVID lần thứ hai? Thích lắm, thích thích lắm. Mà không không thích không được chích thì 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 lo. But luckily, he just got his first shot for two weeks ago. He's so happy. It has been quite a year. We are thrilled to be at the vaccination stage. It's just been great to be able to provide long-term protection to Vermonters. And we're happy to be here at the Winooski Armory today, just as I like to say, sticking it to COVID. <laughs> we Vietnamese. Thank you. We Vietnamese. Oh, yeah. He born in Vietnam, I born in Vietnam too. Also. Really? Yeah. Gok moved here from Vietnam in 2016 to be closer to his family. Gok has five children and 11 grandchildren in Vermont. Thank you. And what's it been like for your grandfather? Difficult for him. He he a church person. He go to church every single day, but uh, COVID kept kept him away from church. How has the past year been for you? Cô nói là cái năm vừa rồi mà mà bệnh COVID đây nó có nó ảnh hưởng gì tới ông không? Ngày nào cũng đọc kinh. Lấy Chúa tôi xin Chúa ban cho Covid-19, xuống 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 biển ăn cá đi, còn để cho chúng con ở trên trần gian này đi lại đi nhà thờ nhà thánh như được, tung đồng biết giọt. Lỗi với thầy tôi. Lỗi thầy tôi. Lỗi thầy tôi mọi đàm vì vậy. Were you worried about him? I, I do I'm really worried when COVID beginning, I'm worried a lot because he been he been in the hospital a couple of times, but luckily not because of COVID. It maybe worry a lot. Like he always have to stay home, stay home. He he say why have to stay home for so long? We were lucky enough to attend the Vietnamese New Year celebration the last two years. It's not happening this year. Said the Vietnamese New Year this year. It's difficult because we. We are family people. We always gather together. It's hot. We cannot have a lot of uh, gathering at family with the family. Especially we have the older grandfather in the house, so we limited a lot of people coming to visit him. Even we cannot gather together face to face, but we still Vietnamese community still get together online, and then we share our feeling and then our story and what happening with our family during COVID. My mom, she the one uh, communicate with the community more, a lot. I am happy when I have COVID vaccine. I have vaccine because I take care of my dad. My dad 93 years old. I hope so anyone can have vaccine for future. We can go out party and see family together. One of the things that we know about the English language learning communities that we have here in Vermont is that they're often part of large households in, in settings that almost replicate what congregate living might look like. And so it's a definite higher risk for both transmission within a household and then what we call secondary transmissions. So that would be household members who don't have any symptoms and they're feeling just fine and they go to work or they go to school. So some of the efforts to really support these families and helping them receive vaccine helps all Vermonters. Providing um, documents that are translated, providing interpreters at clinics um, to be able to interpret in person, um, and to be able to provide support and people who have trouble navigating the registration system so that they can still get vaccine just like any other Vermonter would. Uh, I uh, experienced sign up for my grandfather. It's not uh, too difficult. It took me five to ten minutes. We met Gok's daughter Jennifer in 2016. She runs a lure salon with her daughter Lee Kim. 2020 has been a tough year for their business and they had to close down for two months. This once bustling nail salon is now often empty. Only six people are allowed in the space. The walls are covered with photos from happier days when groups of women celebrated birthdays and weddings with many petty parties. Definitely the COVID is affecting us a lot because I haven't seen a lot of um, customers and then no party. 
no wedding, no vacation. COVID has permeated every aspect of our lives. It's, you know, it's affected us all in so many different ways um, and, and differently over the course of the past year. The toll that it, that it has taken, I just feel like coming out and getting vaccinated, again, it's just our way to fight back. And it just feels like a, a really important um, civic duty for us to be able to all come together and protect each other. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Look at him. You got vaccinated, yes. oh my goodness. Thank you, oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. I mean, our first clinic, we all cried. So every time I talk about it, you know, I, I get goosebumps and I get emotional. You know, we get into the routine of doing this every day, but it, it really is, it's a big deal. Um, it's been a long year. It's been hard on everyone. And, um, you know, this tunnel is still long, but we are seeing that light getting bigger and bigger every day. <laughs> Yeah, he say he. Hey, I'm so glad so many Vermonters are getting vaccinated and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. My 86 year old mom just got her second COVID vaccine and it was a very emotional day. I was able to go along with her. Seeing everybody there, the staff and the volunteers willing to help and make it an easier process just really made me very emotional. So I wanna say thank you to everyone. I know this has been a Herculean effort and we are all so grateful that you're keeping Vermonters safe. So take care everyone.